Callaway Corvette SC757 Aero Wagon first drive I leave the house disappointed. My dog doesn't fit. I'd seen photos of the 2017 Callaway Corvette Aero Wagon and had high hopes that Bo Darville, my 60-pound flat coat retriever, could stand up in the car's expanded cargo area. It is a wagon, or a wagon, after all. Not even close, although your chihuahua or small labradoodle will fit just fine. Callaway calls the Aero Wagon a shooting brake. The company reminds us that the term was developed by the British for vehicles modified to carry shooting parties in their gear. More recently the label has been attached to high-performance GT coupes like the Ferrari FF and subsequent GT C4 L USSO. But the CEO and founder of Callaway Cars isn't interested in hauling guns, or apparently dogs. His passions are cars and golf. The C7 design is a natural platform for this shooting brake approach, says Callaway, whose father Illy created Callaway Golf in 1984. The luggage space in the car is already best in class. But now we can carry three full-size Callaway Golf bags. Is there another 200 mph GT car that can do that? I have no idea. I don't golf. I drive. I fire up the Callaway's supercharged 757 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 and head for Malibu and the Santa Monica Mountains. PCH to Los Flores to Ramble Pacifico to Shurin to Stunt to Mulholland, past the Rock Store, through the Snake, down Cannon, back to PCH. It's the route. And it makes everything better. An hour later the Corvette's carbon ceramic brakes are red hot. The contents of its gas tank have been burned and I'm happy again. This car is scary fast. No surprise, scary fast Corvettes have been Callaway's business for 30 years. In 1987 the company, founded by Reeves Callaway, struck a deal to sell C4 Corvettes with twin turbo engines, NACA ducts, and a full GM warranty through Chevy dealers. The cars were ordered under RPO B2K and bumped the sports car's L9A tuned port 5.7 liter small block from 235 HP to 345 HP and 465 pound feet of torque. Those weren't big numbers in 1987, they were colossal. Remember, the ZR1 was still three years away, and the Corvette team needed something to fight off the 245 HP Buick Grand National and the 547 GNX models Buick was about to unleash with 276 HP. A year later the company built the fastest street legal Corvette ever. It went 254 miles per hour, so to play with AMG's hammer, a tuned mid-size Mercedes W124 that was the world's fastest sedan, Callaway called its car the sledgehammer. Along the line Callaway switched to supercharging, as well as spreading out to Camaros, trucks, and SUVs. Today Chevy dealers will gladly order you a blown Corvette, Camaro, Silverado, Tahoe, or Suburban pumped up by the company's Gen 3 supercharger and triple cool intercooler system. Backed by a Callaway warranty plus the GM factory warranty, of course. According to his son Pete Callaway, general manager of Callaway Cars West in Temecula, Thank you. 
It costs $14,990, which includes painting and installing the new hatch, as well as adding a new carbon fiber rear spoiler and replacing the car's halo bar between the hatch and the roof panel for a smoother transition. Callaway had access to GM's CAD data. It shows. No fabrication is required. Workmanship, fit and finish are OE quality. Made from carbon fiber and tempered safety glass. Callaway says the new panel weighs essentially the same as the factory unit. It mounts to the factory hinges with the same hardware and there's an embedded rear defroster. Rear visibility is compromised slightly by the two additional pillars in the rear glass, but the difference is hardly worth mentioning. Our test car started life as a Z06 with the lethargic 8-speed automatic. In addition to the aero wagon package, Callaway has fitted an even TBS 2300 supercharger. The 2,300 cubic centimeters unit is larger than the 1,740 cubic centimeters supercharger GM installs on the Z06 and it makes more boost, just under 14 side. The stock unit generates about 12 sat. According to Pete Callaway, the larger motors also allow the unit to spin slower and generate less heat. Three integrated air and water intercoolers keep the intake charge cool. gets a new higher capacity pump. The new blower unit is so big, partially because of the stacking of the rotors and intercooler, it doesn't even fit under the hood. Callaway slices a hole in the factory carbon fiber hood and installs a black surround to cover the cut lines. It's a clean installation and you can see the top of the supercharger quivering out in the wind from the driver's seat. It's all very Mad Max and that alone is worth the $18,495 price tag. It's the Ducks Guts. Callaway says the supercharger, along with a PCM reflash, takes the V8S power from 650 to 757 HP and torque from 650 LPFT to 777. It's a $2,995 option. In the hills it's a Z06 with more oomph, there's no change to the car's balance or response. Callaway doesn't touch the suspension, brakes or tires. Although our torch red tester did wear Callaway's forged 9-spoke black chrome wheels, which cost an additional $6,280. Total sticker price for our fully loaded example was $151,000 including the loaded Z06 with the Z07 package that Callaway started with. Drivability is excellent. There's no surging, no peaks or valleys in the power curve. And full throttle is all out more. Nail the top idle with the traction control off and the massive Michelin Pilot Super Sports go up in smoke. No bombshell there. It's the Corvette's traction problem at 50 miles per hour that surprised me. The first time I hammered it at 50 miles per hour I wasn't quite ready for the resulting violence. The automatic transmission dropped a handful of gears and those big rear tires lit up and stayed lit.